Hey, 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 hey. Hola. We haven't been on here in a while. The last video y'all seen, we left y'all wondering. And guess what? We still gonna leave y'all wondering. <laughs> Cause this is a what's cooking video. It ain't gonna be wrote all that. You know how we normally give y'all how to do everything. We just gonna show y'all be prepped. She prepped. Can you tell her what you got going on here? All right, so I'm making a roasted red pepper salmon or red pepper sauce salmon. So basically, the, the majority of the flavor comes from the sauce. So um, I'm just kind of winging this. I went to a restaurant with one of my buddies in uh, Atlanta. I got it. My brother or whatever. It's called agave. And I had this dish and it was really good. So we decided to try to make it at home. So Trené got the peppers roasting in the oven. So you want to roast those, and then we're going to blend them and add some seasonings. I can't really tell y'all what we're going to add just yet, because I don't fucking know. I'm just kind of winging it. And what I'm going to do is uh, probably coat my salmon in some oil so it can cook better. And uh, season it with salt and pepper. And then when once this is done cooking, I'll probably cook it for about, probably about 5 to 10 minutes, because you don't want to cook salmon too long, because then it'd be chewy and dry. And then when I'm done cooking this, I'm going to stir fry the carrots, the yellow squash, and the zucchini in the same juices that I cooked the salmon in so it can have some flavor. So how did you get your veggies like that to look like the way they oh, look? Oh, well, I julienne shredded them. So this cool little gadget that we brought, I'll show you all the box. I'll count the type of mess. We ain't cleaned up. Um, it's called the 13-piece super slicer. So basically, you just... Have that little bowl right there. You take this and put it on top of it. She ain't got to tell you all that. And you want to turn it and do all of that. And then you pretty much just put your whatever you're trying to cut to get it to this consistency. You just put it on there and, and just slide it across like a damn credit card. So. Uh, yeah, so she great. Season up herself, put everything together. We got some asparagus right here. It's already done. Dude, we got do I use? some chicken. You in. said one of them burn fast. Not the olive oil, right? We use, uh, we got, yeah, we got chicken for chicken and dumplings that we great head to. So we gonna she coat it. What you doing? Tell them. I'm coating my uh, salmon with this extra virgin olive. Oil. And then she gonna put the salt and pepper on there. And then we gonna come back. Oh shit! I put you. I don't like this shit. <laughs> there you go. I'm going that top, boy. <laughs> Some salty ass fishing. <laughs> Look up. I don't know. I don't understand the concept of all this fancy. <laughs> some bullshit. I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, so I'm just putting the salt. I ain't fucking with them peppercorns. Bullshit. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just seasoning it with salt and pepper and whatnot. So, Are you putting it in the pan? Are you putting? You always yes, hold them. Pan searing. Okay. Pan searing. So. so what I'm going to do because we ain't got a lot of um. Memory. Huh? Stop doing that ghetto smith. Oh, <laughs> good ghetto smith. We ain't got a lot of memory, so once we get the, once the fish, I'm quite sure y'all know how to pass your salmon. If not, I'm quite sure we got a video over here somewhere. If not, then I'll come just show y'all a little snippet. But once we pass it the salmon, I'm going to just come back, show y'all clip of it in the pot, and then come back when we got the veggie stir frying in the pot, and then come back and show y'all when we making the sauce. Salmon in the pot. Alright, that's what we meant by pan sear. Trene did spray her pot with this though. This little extra virgin olive oil. And that's just pretty much pan sear. Right there. You don't want to cook salmon too long. When it start, you want it to still be pink. Like when it start getting white, that's how you know it's overcooked. So salmon don't cook long. Trine Those don't. are the peppers. Once these get done, we're going to come and show y'all how we're going to do the sauce. You flipping the salmon. You know I'm a bad cameraman. That's it. That means. It only cooked for like three minutes on that one side. I mean, it's better to cook on that back side for another minute or so. And a good rule of thumb is like if you pan searing it and you're not comfortable once you taste it, because I'm going to taste it. Like, it don't bother me. Um, it's pre cooked, so. I mean, not pre cooked, but it's semi cooked, so shit can't kill me. But if you don't feel comfortable with it, you just throw it in the oven for a little while. You know, or you could just turn the damn pan off and cover the top and it's still cooked. It's up to you. Alright, we got that. We're going to take those out. You want to get a little plate. Smell good. Y'all might see our chicken. Some chicken and dumplings. 
Yes. yes. Really? <laughs> so you want to tell them anything? Up? Should we go ahead and tell them? Tell them what? Are we pregnant? We ain't telling them nothing. I don't know we pregnant. Oh, shit. Yeah, she... <laughs> And so many people like, oh my goodness, I know y'all pregnant. She ain't gonna tell you, but no, y'all, we not. We not pregnant. Yeah, we're not successful this time. So, we already got um, the other sperm order. Um, so, I mean, we just gonna go back at it again. We not sad. I mean, it's the, the percentage of us getting pregnant is not very high. So, I mean, until this shit is happening, until it's like a little big head kid running around in this house, we not gonna stop. So. But we did take a break. We took a, a two month break because my my mom and my cousin came to visit and we also we went home. Uh, August we had company in in September we went home. Yeah, so we, we missed to go to a wedding. Was Kiki wedding August? We was we had did the ever insemination when Kiki wedding, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. So that's why y'all haven't seen but the video that y'all that we last posted let me turn around and look at y'all. Wait a minute. They ain't go the same. I'm going to turn around and talk to y'all. Alright, hey y'all. It's me. Well, like I was saying, um, when I had y'all to the back, face, um, face our way. We went, y'all, the first time, then we went again in July. And it didn't take. We found out we were pregnant in August. Like, um, two weeks, was like August the 13th, August or something. But... When our next cycle started, we had come. My mom came to visit, so we didn't proceed because, of course, I didn't want to be out of the loop while they were here. And then in September, we didn't pick up with it because my grandma is sick, so we went back home to Baltimore to visit my grandmother during the last cycle. But we all get ready to pick back up, so y'all will see. And y'all, we still taking y'all along on the journey. Why you got a real plate? I'm it's, you know with uh, so I'm so I'm getting tongue yeah, twisted. Tongue tied. It's been taking us a long time up there because like so much going been going on. on. So we ain't been and when we do pick up the camera, like I said, we got plenty of videos. It's just all we really been doing honestly is sleeping. Mm -hmm. So damn tired. Sleeping and working. Like on Saturdays, y'all know something. No, just what he's doing it. Saturdays, y'all know we don't be go play sleeping in the house all day today. But let me turn your back around so y'all can see what's going on. What you just put in there? Sorry, I put my carrots at the bottom. Just put my uh, what the hell is that? squash. In there. And I'm about to put my zucchini in there. And I'm, about, I'm gonna have to mix it in. Add a little salt and pepper to that. Uh, um, so for this, uh, black <laughs> Excuse me, thank you. For this, uh, you don't want to cook it too long because you don't want it to be soft. Like you want it to still have like. Some kind of a crunch to it, like it's not like super soft. It will still maintain like a little bit of crunch. We're gonna come back with y'all and y'all with some vegan videos. You know, a lot of people started following us too because we cook oh, yeah. vegan. Um, and so I mean, we apologize for that. Honestly, it's just like where we at. The market options is, is fucking slim to none. So then you stuck with me, yeah, or you like, just don't eat at all? Like the only option we have is Walmart. And I mean, can't nobody afford that other damn market, but Jesus Christ himself, ain't nobody shopping there. That shit too high. But we, uh, we have been talking about it, and it's actually the healthiest choice and the best choice for us, for us to just yes, go back is. vegan. Energy wise. Well, yeah. let me stop, let me not say vegan, eat a plant based diet, should I say. Well, she started saying her little stuff, and then I'm where she's ready to take over the camera so y'all can see me with this sauce. Be right back. Alright, for this red um, roasted red pepper sauce, I just took two red peppers, sliced them, well, cut them in half, took the seeds out, put them in, preheated my oven at 425, sprayed them down with olive oil, put some garlic salt, on, garlic powder on them, and roasted them in the oven for about 30 <laughs> minutes. Now, I'm just using our Ninja um, to cut. We got a food processor and a blender, but this is just the easiest thing for me right now. Yeah. So, what I did was take my um, red, red, roasted red peppers, I put them in my cup. I added some salt and pepper. I'm going to take a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to add that into 
Yeah. Look at you pouring and not making a mess. I love you though. And what I'm gonna do is just blend this until smooth. Yep. All right. So while she before she do that, this this what it looked like. I just mixed it all in, so it looked like this. And I'll show y'all how to serve it. Now it's an aioli sauce that go on the top, but I ain't got time for all that. I didn't know that. There ain't nobody got time for that shit. Take too long. Are you done? You wanna pause this? Yes, it pause. Yeah, baby. I'm about to blend it up, y'all. All right. We gonna come back so y'all can see it. She probably got it backwards. I'm probably sure I know what she did. So, <laughs> what the fuck is backwards? The camera probably upside down. So, I blended it till smooth. And what I did all camera see was I blended it till smooth was added some crushed, some crushed red pe peppers. <laughs> no, I'm lying. I did. And some chopped onions. Now what I'm going to do is just take it out of um, here, add it to the, put it in the saucepan. See, it's nice and smooth. So it can thicken up a little bit? Is that why you're doing that? No, so it can be hot because it's cold. Okay. And I'm just going to heat it up. What you cook your asparagus in? Like, um, what you do with your asparagus? What do you want to cook? Um, I just put my asparagus and butter and chicken broth and season it with salt and pepper and garlic powder. That's it. Okay. All right, so when it's thickening up, I'll plate it and show y'all how it's supposed to look plated. When well, you married to a self-proclaimed chef. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at that. Annoying, All right, y'all, you want to chow down. Chow, 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 chow. What is this called? Uh, Red pepper salmon. Yeah. And... Look at that. That's for the more dinner. That's for Sunday's dinner. So, we'll see y'all later. Bye.